Hi and welcome. I'm really happy to welcome you to my Slim and Well vlog. My name's Claire Howard. This morning I am just making my breakfast before work. I'm going to have a cheese and tomato omelette. So I am just quickly slicing up some tomato, weighing out my cheese. I'm having 40 grams of this reduced fat cheese, which is my hex A allowance. I'm just going to whisk up a couple of eggs with a dash of milk. I will be making my omelette in the microwave. I got this omelette maker off Amazon. It is so handy. Just put the contents of whatever you want in your omelette inside it with the omelette mix and then pop it in the microwave. So I put my omelette in for two minutes 30, which was just perfect. It came out, the egg was set and the cheese was all melted and it was really, really yummy. Having some beans because I put beans with everything just to bulk out my breakfast. These tin covers are really handy, again off Amazon. Good morning and welcome back. My name is Claire Howard and if you haven't been here before, I am currently following the Slim and Well plan and I'm just sharing my everyday life fit and Slim and World into that and what I have to eat for my, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, busy work days, etc. Just general everyday mum working life and fit and Slim and World amidst the chaos of it all. So uh, this video is just a really quick what I have in a day. I've just prepared my breakfast and had that. I had a cheese and tomato omelette. I haven't had that in ages and it was so yummy. Um, I used my Amazon maker, which I got from the Amazon store. I've added a link in the video description. I absolutely love that. It's so quick and easy. Like we are leaving, we'll be leaving shortly after eight. So it is a school morning. I've got the boys ready. I've done the hoovering, all that jazz and fitted my breakfast in between because it is Looks like a big breakfast, but it's quite an easy one to do. So I'm just preparing my lunch for work. I have got some leek and potato soup in here, which I'm now gonna heat up and pop in my show flask. As I've said in many videos before, this little thing is amazing for this time of year when you want a nice hot lunch to have at work and it's just super quick and easy. So I'm gonna heat my soup up now, pop it in there and take that into work with me. That's about all for now. So I'm gonna get on with putting my lunch together because we do need to leave shortly. And then I'll show you, I'm gonna make pea and ham soup for this evening's dinner. When I've made this previously, I've done it really simply on a pan on the hob, but I currently don't have an oven and a hob, so I am gonna make that. I will probably heat my peas up a little in the microwave then pop them in my slow cooker and finish the soup off there. I'm gonna do the boys a separate dinner because Mark's home a little bit later this evening, so we will have that later. So I'm gonna show you my pea and ham soup and a toasty recipe. We are finding soup and a toasty is a really nice dinner for this time of year. Also quite nice and simple and easy, and it generally means we've got leftovers to heat up for lunch, which is fab. Now making my pea and ham soup, I'm gonna pour a whole bag of peas, I think that's a one kilo bag, into my slow cooker. I'm making up some stock cubes in two chicken stock cubes and then I'm just gonna cover the peas in that liquid. I'm adding some fresh chopped up mint and black pepper, add as much as you fancy. 
spinning my slow cooker for probably about an hour and a half, two hours on high. So I'm gonna blitz that up with my blending stick. before adding my chopped up ham and that is now ready to serve. There is an alternative pea and ham soup recipe on the back of this pea and ham soup from Slim and World. You could try that. I haven't tried this one yet, but it sounds nice. Good evening. I am just getting our evening meal ready. I've made my pea and ham soup that is in the slow cooker and it smells delicious. And with it, I am doing a cheese and tomato toasty. Now, this is why having a written out plan might work well, because I've ended up with cheese and tomato omelette for breakfast and cheese and tomato toasty for dinner. Not ideal, as I have already used both my hex A's, so I am gonna have to sin my cheese. Now, I did check this out on the app, and I believe it's five and a half sins for my 40 grams, but I will double check that and put that on the screen just to show you. I've made my toasty up here with my weighed and measured cheese i've sliced my tomato i'm going to pop the top on spray that with fry light and then this is going to go in the drawer of my air fryer so all i've had to eat today i have added into this blog i have had my cheese and tomato omelet which was really really scrummy for breakfast i forgot how much i like an omelet and it's so easy to make in those omelet makers so quick and easy for lunch i took my leek and potato soup which i made in the week I don't know if I included that in my vlog or not, but that is just so simple. It is literally potatoes and leeks chopped up with some stock. And I put that in the slow cooker, obviously, because that's all I have right now. That is a really tasty lunch. Again, um, enjoyed that. I didn't eat my yogurt. That's actually still at work in the fridge, but I had some fruit also. And then when I came home from work, I just had a cup of tea and a packet of the salt and vinegar hula hoop poops, which are three and a half sins per pack. I must say that this cold winter weather just makes me want to eat. I am someone who seeks comfort in food and it took all of my willpower not to go through the snack bars up there. I googled a gold bar that was like six sins. I googled some um, ice gems. I think they were four and a half, five sins. I just didn't think they were worth it. And I really wanted my cheese toasty with my soup. So I hung off, I just had my crisps and a cup of tea. And to be honest, once that had gone down and settled, it was fine. I didn't need anything else. I don't find it as easy in this weather to just pick up and eat a piece of fruit because you fancy, well, I'm not saying I'm going to speak for you, but I fancy like stodgy stuff. So I do need to stock up my fridge with maybe some packs of ham, some boiled eggs, some gherkins and things like that. I need, um, need to get some sin free snacks stocked up in my fridge this is where also the rice pudding that i have been doing comes in really handy because that's a really low sin warm comfort and snack but anyway i have stuck to everything today so my total sins for the day is going to be like five and a half for the cheese three and a half for the hula hoops nine ish i haven't had anything else that i can think of that i need to sin because i didn't eat my yogurt at work and that's it. And I'm using my Everyday Essentials Aldi loaf for my sandwich here. So that is my Hex B for the day. So that's it. I'm going to be signing off on that as a day's worth of Slim World. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know how you're getting on this week also. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you've been enjoying the Slim World vlogs. I am thinking of maybe doing a little back to basics, going through what Slim World is about for those of you who are new here and maybe just following the plan up till Christmas but are in, unable to go to a group because I feel like if you're only following part of the plan or you haven't got the ins and outs of the plan then it might not quite work for you so I was thinking of doing something like that so let me know if you would be interested in that in an upcoming video. I'm just gonna spray my toasties with fry light before they go in the air fryer. I have preheated my air fryer drawers and I put it in the air fryer for around seven minutes on 200 degrees air fryer mode. And that is my soup ready to serve. This was an absolutely delicious winter warmer comfort food meal. Thanks so much for joining me in this Slim and Well vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos coming soon.